fam, it's your boy Big Big. Welcome back to my Black University. See, I got my dad and my baby sister here with me. Now, my dad's gonna help me sweet tooth challenges part three. Check out part one right here. Part two was a short, and this is part three with my pop. So, you know, I told you guys there's gonna be more than one part. So, what we have here, we have some more black on goodness from Cream Malicious. We have the Slap Your Mama banana pudding. I don't suggest doing that if you come from a middle black ground. Uh, and then we also have a banana pudding cookie from Cookie Society. Yeah, look at all the deliciousness. So we're gonna do the same thing like last time. We're gonna break it in half because this is a pretty big cookie. So it's gonna be our two cookies per person. We're gonna go with the graham cracker crumbs and we're gonna go with the caramel toffee. And there's two scoops each. So let's go ahead and uh, break this open. Get two scoops per person. Let me stand up. And yes, there is oh, cookies and banana all in there. Yeah. I got you <laughs> and Papa, I'm doing this. Would you mind going to the dishwasher and getting uh, two spoons? Because uh, that's the only thing I forgot. It's two spoons. So while he's doing that, I'm going to cut the cookie in half. It does have a little wafer in the middle. Slight disadvantage from the first time because the cookie is cold. Yeah. Should warm it up. Mm. <laughs> Maybe that last. Mm -hmm. We have one minute remaining. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it just go off. Mm. I, I didn't let the cookie set out what? and get room temperature at least. It's like 
my stick, but it does it does go well with some apple ice cream. Yeah. One more time. Very, very, very well. Very, very. Why are you trying to make us funny back? <laughs> so, so we're gonna finish this real quick. I can't get another cookie for me. <laughs> we have to, I'm gonna do one with you, okay? Mm. I'm gonna do one with you. How are you going to eat like that? Me and Daddy? What are you doing? Thing about this YouTube journey that you didn't need to know is that um, you, depending if you have a lot, of, you know, if you have access to a lot of funds, your video quality <coughs> is not going to be the absolute best. You're not going to be on the MKBHD, Mr. Who's Boss level, a lot of time. <coughs> and it might be your niche, like take a flossy Carter. Quality videos, as far as like the the um, resolution. But he doesn't do a lot of panning the screen and B-roll footage and things of those nature. But he has an audience. And that took him a little longer to get to the million plus, plus subscribers, but he did it his way. And so you, it may behoove you to build your YouTube channel your way because being authentic goes a long way in the YouTube space. You can blow up real quick, but you'll probably fizzle out real quick. The Flossy Carters and KBHDs, Mr. Who's Boss, they had a challenge well over 10 years. And that's how they got to where they're at. So um, understand you probably won't have what you want in the beginning, but you can build over time and get there. And, and if you're really trying to have the best channel in your niche or in what you do, over time you'll upgrade in your channel. And those who support your channel, your core members, core followers, subscribers rather, will see that and they'll continue to support you because they see that you're going to grow for them so they can continue to be entertained or educated, whatever your channel's about. So, Pop, what are your thoughts? <clears throat> as far as like, uh, it's supporting the YouTuber. Well, there's a lot of content that I support on a daily basis because, like you said, you know, when you put the work into it, you first see that you know what you're talking about. And you are passionate about what you're talking about. And then you're not only entertaining, but you'll be informative to this person. Because a lot of things I did not know until I started doing the YouTube and the um, TikTok thing about even black history. A lot of things I wasn't even talking about until I started using those things that were given to me to where I could find out more and become more educated on a lot of things. So I would say like this, you know, like this, I'd be genuine. Use something, whatever your platform is, make sure it's something that someone can learn from. They can utilize in their life to become better and do better. All right. With that being said, <clears throat> make sure you hit the links below. You can order Cream Malicious and have it literally delivered to your doorstep. They deliver with dry ice. You have to order at least four pints to be shipped out. And you can also, if you are in here in Texas, 
especially particularly DFW, you can stop in Frisco, Addison, go by Cookie Society, support them as well. Tell me, boy, Vic, Vic from My Black Universe sent you. And like always, it's peace and black empowerment.